Welcome to Lab Check Online. To get started, go to www.labcheckonline.com. Creating a new online account is as easy as clicking the Request New Account link at the bottom of your screen. To log in, enter your username and password, then click Sign In. Now this is your home page, the first screen you'll see once logging in. To navigate, use the tabs found at the top of your screen. They include the Home tab, where you have your widgets, account settings, and a link to the LabCheck Resource Center. The Samples tab, where you have your inbox, sample searches, and sample history. The Equipment tab, here you can review and modify equipment as well as create labels. The Labels tab, here you can print your labels as well as review label submitted history. The Reports tab, here you can access your management reports and create report distributions. The Preferences tab, here you can access your filters, your My Test Results, create download options, as well as set up your communication preferences. We'll get started by showing you the features of your Home tab as well as your Preferences tab. To update your personal settings, such as address or password, you can select your name in the top right hand corner. The information shown in this window is the information that will be viewable once your reports are printed using your online account. Once you've updated your personal information, you can choose Preferences, then select Communications to go to update your email notifications. We'll walk you through the Preferences tab from top to bottom. First, make sure your email is correct and that the email box is selected. For format, the default is links to sample details. This is an email showing you a summary of your recent results, also giving you a link allowing you to log in and view your copies of your reports. PDF attachments allow you to receive a zip file that includes PDF copies of each report, included along with the email notifications. For severity threshold, A is the default. If you choose B, you'll only receive notifications on B or worse. If you choose C, you'll only receive email notifications when you have samples that are C and worse. For frequency, you can choose by day of the week or by day of the month. The default is Daily Digest. For sample email format, standard is non-HTML. Sample inbox is HTML formatted and matches your settings on your sample inbox. You have regional settings including language and date format. Now that you've updated your email notification settings, click on the Home tab to go back to your home page. To start, click on the gear icon to open up your dashboard settings. Here you can choose the widgets that you want to view. Widgets are graphical representations of your data. Widgets are fully customizable. You can drag and drop them, but you can also change the format. You can change the date range. For example, we'll change this widget from a bar chart to a pie chart. Using the Track Samples widget allows you to enter a tracking number to view the status of any label that you've submitted. This works on both E and P labels. The News widget notifies you about equipment moves, merges, as well as submitted samples. On the left, you'll find a link to the LabCheck Resource Center. The LabCheck Resource Center includes recorded trainings as well as a complete listing of all of our quick start training guides and training videos. At the bottom of this screen, you'll also find information about online help, quick links, and our LabCheck support desk. In this quick search field, you can search by unit, component, customer, or worksite information. So when we type engine, it lists all of our engines within our account. Clicking on this link takes us directly to that equipment profile under our equipment tab. Now we'll be showing you how to review your equipment as well as how to print labels. First, we'll click on the Labels tab. When we click on the Labels tab, it lets us know that we have not yet selected equipment for printing labels. There are two quick and easy ways to select equipment for creating labels. We can use the Explore tab, as shown on the left, or we can use the Find tab, as shown on the right. We'll show you both methods. 
To select the equipment we want to print labels for, we'll click on Equipment. This takes us to our Equipment Hierarchy. Your Equipment Hierarchy is listed in three easy levels. Where you click on the left side of the screen determines what information is displayed on the right side of the screen. On the left side, when we click on the worksite, we're shown the unit list, which shows all of the units belonging to this specific worksite. On the left, when we click on the unit or gear icon, on the right side we now view the component list. This shows the listing of all the components registered for a specific unit. You can also click on one of the wrenches. On the left, you can also select at the component level, viewed by a wrench icon. This views the sample history table on the right hand side of the screen. When we're ready to print labels, we can check the boxes for the components we want to print labels for. You can select either at the unit level to indicate you're going to print labels for all components, or you can select individual components. Now we can select Print Labels. The second method to print labels is to click Find, then do a search for example. Check the boxes for the components we want labels for, then click New Samples. Now we've entered the label wizard. Here is where you'll fill out all the required fields marked in yellow. Sample date will already be filled in for you, but we can also choose a future date. If you don't track the unit age or lube age, you can enter a 1 or 0 to let us know that you simply don't track these fields. The lube age will automatically be calculated based on what you type in for the unit age. For lube type, we can quickly do a search to pull up the lube type we want by searching for the manufacturer, brand, or grade. We'll also fill out our filter changed and lube service type. Leave the tracking number field blank. We will fill that in for you. You can also add a comment that will be viewed by the data analysts when analyzing your sample. When all fields are filled in, you'll notice that the Submit Samples button becomes active. When submitting a large number of samples at once, click on the Fast Fill link. Using Fast Fill, you can enter any of the listed fields, then click Copy to All Samples to instantly fill in all of your labels at once. Finally, we'll click on the Submit Samples button, which takes us to our History slash Status screen. From here, we can modify or delete any labels that the lab has not yet received. Under Status, it lets us know if the samples are received, not received, or completed. We also have the Filter History button to do a search for previously submitted samples. We also have a status report available. Here you can view your label history in a PDF format. Labels print on Avery 5263. We can also choose a Label Sheet Start Position. Now we can click Print Labels, and the labels will print out in a new window. From here we can print or save these labels, attach them to our sample jars, and we will receive an email notification once the samples are complete in the laboratory. Lastly, we'll show you how to view recent reports, as well as how to do sample searches. At the top of your screen, we'll click on Samples then go to the inbox. We'll start by clicking the Show and Hide column button at the top right of the screen. This gives that great customization we had on our home page. Here you can select the columns or information that you want to view on this page. Here you have the ability to drag and drop the column headers. You can also sort, for example, by severity or sample date. Plus, you can select a date range or choose Viewed or Unviewed Reports. Click the checkbox to select a sample. We can clear samples from the inbox. We can also use the Export XLS feature to download the data into an Excel spreadsheet, a great tool for power users. With Print Reports, we can download multiple reports at once. To do an advanced search, click Search, then Advanced Search. This powerful search feature lets us search by severity or date range. We can also search by customer, unit, component, or sample information. 
Now we'll click back on the inbox to review one of these reports. We'll click along the report, for example, on the sample number. That brings up the sample details page. The sample details page is laid out very similar to the report. There are three hyperlinks at the top which take you to the corresponding point in your equipment tree. Below that you have your recommendations from our data analyst team. We've coded the report to make it easier for you to read. Green means this was coded A, blue represents a B code, orange represents a C code, and red represents a D code. On the right, with the new activity feature, here you can track the actions taken on a specific sample as well as track cost savings. With the comment button, attach a comment to this report and include it with a PDF copy of the report by clicking Include User Comments in PDF. The sample details screen lists your six most recent reports on this one page. At the bottom of the screen, you'll find 15 preset graphs. These can be printed out on a separate page or saved as a JPEG image. If you like the preset graphs but would like additional graphing functionality, click on the Trend Graph button at the top of the page. With Trend Graphs, you can create custom graph types, which can be saved for later, as well as modify the data and look of your customized trend graphs. You can also click Send Email to send a copy of this report or to multiple recipients, or you can choose email addresses from your address book. Give your message a subject, as well as type out a message to go along with this report. You can also click Download PDF to print out or save a copy of the report on your computer or smartphone. Under the History tab, you can further review all of the sample histories available for this component. If you have any questions, please feel free to call us at the LabCheck Support Desk at 866-522-2432 or by email at labcheck support at analystsinc.com.